Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Ashison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm excited to be here with you on a Monday night, which is very unusual for me, right? So I wanted to make up for missing you last night. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Welcome. Jean, I see you're coming in from North Dakota. Hi, everybody. <laughs> we have tiny hands. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Welcome. Lisa's here. Good to see you guys. And Sonia's popping in. So I am going to uh, get myself up here on my iPad. And there's my live. I've got me turned way down. So that's very good. Let me see if I can get this back here where it belongs. Whoops, I've got things falling. Hawaii. <laughs> Got myself a little note for Hawaii. We have to, hang on, I gotta put that up. We have to sign up on some special website for the um, incentive trip to Hawaii next month. So I've got little notes all over. I've got Walgreens COVID test. We have to have a test within 72 hours of arrival on the island. Um, we're going to Maui. And we also have to fill out this application ahead of time. And it's just kind of turned into a whole holy moly. <laughs> a lot of people are getting a little nervous about it. But I am not. I am so busy. I don't have time to worry about that stuff. So I just keep making myself notes, putting them up on wherever I'm going to see them. And uh, I'm not a worry wart. Like, it's my schedule is so busy. I don't have time to worry about things that aren't happening till next month. <laughs> right? And I'm like, it'll be fine. That's just like my answer to everything that might be a little stressful. It'll be fine. And this too, we shall get through. <laughs> We've got you coming in from Northern California and New York. And I see the West Coast and Ohio. I'm so happy to see you guys. Nancy from Lancaster, Wisconsin, and Luba's popping in. So I have some fabulous mail to share with you. Um, as most of you know, yesterday was Little Miss Valerie's first birthday. And um, can you remember a little over a year ago when we were calling her Weedly? <laughs> I had almost completely forgot about that. And then somebody brought it up and it was so funny. And Haley was not amused by it, I might add. She did not think that was really that funny. Um, and the reason why we were calling her Weedly is because we knew her middle name was going to be Lee. My father was Thomas Lee. My mom is Karen Lee. Um, her grandpa's name is Lee. So it just worked out really good, right? And... Haley and Jared kept her first name a secret until she was born. So nobody knew that. We knew she was going to be a girl. We knew her middle name was going to be Lee, but we didn't know her first name. So um, Steve, who knows things, he happened to realize that she was due on April 20th, 420. And 420 is some big marijuana date. I don't know because I'm not up to date on all those kinds of things. But um, it's weed day. And so we started calling her Weed Lee. And it just stuck. And it was so funny. And Haley didn't find it amusing at all. I hear somebody's car horn blowing outside. That's really weird. It's pretty overcast and cloudy and windy here in Wisconsin. I went for a walk today, so I was super proud of myself. I would like to drop a few pounds before I hit the beaches in Maui. And so I'm telling you guys this because maybe you'll keep me accountable. Can I trust you guys? Can I count on you to keep me accountable? I started back on my Optavia program just because I'd like to drop maybe about 10 pounds. And I think that's just the easiest way to um, make it happen. And so if I tell you guys, maybe then I'll feel like, oh, I better not disappoint them, right? Accountability is huge when you have any type of goal. There's like a car driving down the street, blowing its horn steady. It's very weird. So anyways, back to, back to the program. So Val's birthday was absolutely fantastic. 
And if you guys happen to miss all the pictures that I splashed all over Facebook, um, please go take a look at them. Haley really outdid herself on the decorations. Like she went all out. She said this is her first birthday. I don't think other birthdays are going to look like this, but she wanted to make it just super memorable and special. And um, she went crazy with the decorations and they were extremely cute and tasteful. And I went a little crazy with the treats. I like to um, make kind of fun treats. So I was dipping wafer cookies in vanilla um, or um, almond bark, white chocolate, and sprinkling them with um, real pretty sprinkles to match the whole. If you guys know the ice cream set in the mini catalog, that was kind of her theme and the colors, bright and cheerful and fun. So I dipped vanilla, um, those little um, wafers that have the, the white filling in them. I dipped those in chalk, white chocolate and sprinkled them. I did big pretzel rods and sprinkled them. I did bugles. If you guys, this is a Christmas thing that we make. You take the bugles, the crunchy little bugles that look like a bugle like a little triangle deal you dip them in white chocolate and then you sprinkle them with red um sugar and it looks like little santa hats at christmas well i just dipped them in the white chocolate and sprinkled the pretty sprinkles on them and um, then they matched everything what else did i make i made a cake that looked like a um, you know an ice cream something or another a popsicle <laughs> oh my good lord <laughs> Looked like a popsicle. That was really fun. Yeah, we made, we had a lot of fun with, I had a lot of fun. I'm like totally in my element. I was giddy. I was, I was making all this stuff. It was just super cute. So yeah, the popsicle cake was really adorable. Joanne says it was so fun and easy to make. And it was funny because when I turned the cake pan upside down to dump it out on my little platter thing that I had, um, the top part of it stuck in the pan, which was perfect because it was supposed to look like it had some bit off the top. So I really lucked out there. If it wasn't supposed to do that, I kind of probably would have been a little mad. But anyhow, um, so Val got some really cute presents and it really wasn't about the presents. Let's be real. The child is not lacking anything because <laughs> I'm her granny. <laughs> But um, she got some really neat presents and they'll have a lot of fun with those. And we got to see Jared's dad. I haven't seen Jared's dad since before Valerie was born because COVID hit and he was trying so hard to stay away from everyone because he has a very um, public job. He's in, in contact with a lot of people and it really scared him. So does Steve have bugles, bugleitis? <laughs> Lisa, I forgot about the bugleitis. Steve got bugleitis at Christmas from dipping all the bugles in the white chocolate. Yeah, that was his thing. He wanted to claim workers' comp. <laughs> He's always looking for some type of compensation, and it never really works out for him. He did not get bugleitis. My mom probably did because she helped me. She was here for the weekend, and that was really fun. Um, what else? We had really good food. I made the treats and um, Jared's mom made the lasagna and chicken Alfredo. So, oh, just delicious. Anywho, we played some really fun games where we tried to guess this or that. Does Val like this better or that better? Does she like fruit better or vegetables better? I got that one wrong because I said vegetables, but they said the answer was fruit, but she eats everything. So I don't know how they can say that. Anyways, lots of things like that. It was just really cute. Val's party was a blast and I'm so glad that I decided to take last night off because when we got home I was pooped and I went in the living room and curled up under a blanket and slept for a couple hours so yay me I was ready to go and then I got up and worked until 12 30 last night <laughs> yeah <clears throat> thank you guys so much I see people are sharing this video please um Share this video if you can. You can click on that share button right now. That really helps me out. It helps me grow my business, and I really appreciate it. So we've got a John update. Um, Steve has been monitoring John pretty closely, and we are waiting to see John's work truck disappear. It hasn't yet, and he probably did have to go to Ohio to do training, which he was didn't want to do. But he's supposed to be retiring this week. So I'll keep you posted on that. We'll give you a full update next week. 
we're looking forward to that tr that work truck disappearing. So good for John, right? <laughs> um, I wanted to let you guys know, and I know I talked about this last week, but what, what? Brand new catalog arriving in mail boxes all over the world. So these catalogs are starting to arrive now. And if you don't have one yet and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can contact me via email, kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at estampabove.com and give me your address and I would be happy to send you this gorgeous new catalog. You're going to love it. I can't hardly wait to show you the inside. We're not allowed to show the inside until the catalog goes live and that happens on May 4th. Yes, I'm right. May 4th. So that's going to be super exciting too. All right. Um, I have bingo. Don't forget, if you signed up for bingo, it is at 7 p.m. Central Time on Wednesday evening. I will be working on our fabulous cards tomorrow. Now, if you didn't register for bingo, you don't have to worry. You can still watch the live stamping class. We're going to be making five, count them, five cards on Facebook Live. Let's see. No, no. YouTube Live, which I will stream to Facebook but we're gonna be making five fun cards and we are going to be playing bingo in between the cards. So five cards, four games of bingo. If you're registered, you get to play the bingo. If you're not registered, you still get to enjoy the cards and hopefully you can register next month. I do that once a month. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about, we're going. I'm going to be making a card with the flowering cactus and the flowering cactus is one of those medleys let me see if I can find it here. It's got all the things in it. It's like a whole medley. It's got designer paper. It's got two different colors of twine. It has um, some little felt flowers that we'll be playing with. Oh, let me get them out here. Here's our, here's our little die cut felt flowers. It has designer series paper in it that matches the dies. So you can use the dies to cut this particular side out. It's all double sided, super fun. And we are going to be using the flowering cactus to make a really cute, quick and easy card tonight. I wanted to let you guys know that I have a few, hang on. <laughs> I have a few kits left. Now I did, a, I did a class. Now this is the online class that Barb, Dina and I do together. And so I did an online class and I have some kits left. And what's included in the kit is cards and I think there's eight cards in here um, all the layers for eight different cards except the designer series paper and you will need to have the medley to be able to complete the card so lots and lots of people bought this medley if you didn't buy it it's still available in the online store it's called flowering cactus medley you can look it up with that name flowering cactus medley in my online store eight cards all cut for you. I do the hard work. And then you also get some of our velveteen paper, hang on, which we used in the class. So this is like velvet. It's so soft and pretty. We use this on the cards. You will get the ornate garden ribbon combo pack, two rolls of ribbon. Yay. Do I know where that hand has been? Well, yes, because I give Val her own set of hands. So when I'm done with my hands, they go back in my little dish of happiness. So in here, I have my Carmex, which you guys know I'm totally addicted to. I have Curb Your Cravings. This is one of those oil things. I don't know who it's by, but you take it out and you do that. Hmm. And I have Focus, which is... Keep me focused. And then I have my unicorn. My little dish of happiness is where I store my tiny hands. So yes, Denise, I do know where my tiny hands have been. Val has her own set and she likes to spit on them, which is kind of a little gross, I'm not gonna lie. So you also get the um, opal rounds, a half a pack of opal rounds. All of this with an online class with video tutorials and written instructions and photos and all the dimensions for all these cards. And I think it's like, I don't know, $45. It's on my blog. I should have looked that up. I'm really sorry I didn't. But I wanted to let you guys know, I'm looking right now, 
that I have some of these left and they're super cute. You will absolutely love this little bundle. Oh, here it is. Here it is, $45. There you go, you can get this kit. Now, you can get all of this stuff and the medley and the class is pretty much free if you order the entire thing from me and you fill out a form and I send you an invoice and then you pay it and I order it for you because there's some extra stuff that's included in the option number one. Wanted to let you guys know about that. Let me get this back into the packet. I don't want anybody to be missing anything out of their flowering cactus. Cactus. There we go. Okay. Whew. That's a lot, right? Yakety yak, 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 yak. Hi, Lori. I'm happy you caught me tonight, too. Um, who, Priscilla is looking forward to bingo. Yay! I'm looking. I love bingo. We have had so much fun with bingo. We've got. Um, I don't know how many people registered for bingo, but it's a lot. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, I'm just gonna start getting out all my goodies here to make. We're gonna be using blending brushes. We may or may not use the layer with the blending brushes because I haven't actually made this card yet. Um, I had help in today and it was crazy. We got the Healing Hugs kit out in the mail. We got the Boho Indigo class out in the mail and um that was a lot a lot of work tomorrow i'm going to be working on the bingo cards and get all the cardstock cut because when you do bingo you get a pre-cut cardstock pack for all five cards you also get some product in there and i can't even remember what my product is but it's going to be fun and then we use it on the cards then so you get a make and take packet that will be sent out Boho kits available. I am sorry, Sharon. I am completely out of boho kits. So we um, we made so many, and in the time between the number I decided on and my product order, I filled them all up, and I have none left. I think I'm pretty sure they're gone. So I'll check and I'll I'll let you know if I do have any, but I don't think so. Yay! Bonnie's looking forward to the boho class. I'm so glad you ordered it because it is super, super pretty. It's a beautiful, beautiful medley, much like this um, cactus medley. Okay, I think we're ready to flip our camera around. Don't let me forget to show you mail. I have a whole drawer of mail over there to share with you. Some really, 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 not some, all of it's really pretty, right? Okay, hang with me. I'm gonna pull off my tiny hands. They really stick. <laughs> that didn't look good, did it? <laughs> Hang tight. We're going to flip this baby around. And I have my new phone, so we shouldn't have any problems with overheating. The phone has been working fantastic. I even heard from some of you guys last week that you felt like the um, quality of the picture was even better. So that's pretty exciting. Hang on, I gotta move my iPad over here. I'm gonna get out my piercing mat. Now, um, this is a, called a pierce mat, and I like to use it as the surface that I stamp on. And just so you guys know, this is my blog. If you go there, you're gonna find all these online class things and all the things that I talk about in the right-hand column under online classes, you click on that. This is my current host code. If I could ask you guys to help me out, when your order is under $150, if you could put this code in. Now, when you're on the online store, you're going to find that code right up at the top right under my name. It'll say you're shopping with Kelly Atchison, and it'll say host code. And you click on that, and it has a drop-down box, and that's where you type this in. That really helps me out. It allows me to give you wonderful prizes for free, and that little um, conversation is reminding me that I didn't hand out prizes. So here we go, holy cow. So for commenting on my last Facebook Live last Sunday, I am going to be giving out, I had a packet from Bingo left over. So this is actually 10 cards. You get five different cards, two of each. This is the packet. It used three different stamp sets, but I am going to give this for her comment last week to Judy Brown of Edgerton, Wisconsin. Judy, this packet is gonna be coming your way. And you are going to, I, I think what I'll do is I will email you um, 
the link to the video for the cards and bingo. And Judy is a longtime stamper. If you don't have the exact stamp sets that we used, I'm pretty sure you probably have something pretty similar. So it's going to be really fun to put all these together. So that's going out to Judy Brown of Edgerton, Wisconsin. Congratulations, Judy. I just know you're going to love this packet. Next up for um, sharing my video. Now, when you share the video, you also get entered to win fabulous prizes. And I've got this Approaching Perfection stamp set for um, sharing. And Jamie Lency of Escalon, California, this is on its way to you. So I hope you don't have this. And um, if you do have it, please feel free to pass it on to somebody else who would enjoy it. Congratulations to Jamie for sharing my video. Thank you so much. And then I also have another drawing for ordering. Everybody who orders between Facebook Lives gets entered in a drawing. And I have the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set. This is a fabulous little stamp set with some nice sentiments. Also, the um, Fine Art Designer Series paper here. And a half a pack of the gold glitter enamel dots. And I heard that we ran out of these today. They are retiring. So I am excited to be giving these to Diane Walters of Enterprise Alabama. All of this is coming your way. And thank you guys so much for your orders. I so appreciate them. They are what keeps me in business and gets my bills paid. Okay. We are going to be using Mossy Meadow, Calypso Coral, and Bumblebee ink. And I'm just going to show you these fabulous little dies here. Oh my goodness, they're just so fun. We have this die that matches the heart-shaped cactus. We have this die that die cuts and embosses. And I'll show you what that looks like. I've got a bunch cut here. I just cut up extras and put them in with my dies. But look at that detail on there. Isn't that the coolest? And the die cuts and does the embossing all at the same time. So that's really fun. Then we have this little die. This is, I call it the Mickey Mouse cactus with a little wart on his ear. <laughs> that's kind of sick, but whatever. Um, this die cuts out this one. And then we have the flowers. These flowers will fit over all of these flowers. So we have dies for all of the flowers that are pretty neat, right? That you can cut all of these out. And then we have these little dujimahickeys. I call them the fireworks. They're pretty cool looking. And we're going to, um, I think we're using those tonight. So we'll see what those look like. And then this looks like bob wire, right? It looks like barbed wire, but it's really the little pricklies on the cactus. So this is a really neat, fun element. It doesn't cut anything. It just puts these, all of the stitching and the little barbs on your cardstock. So very, very fun dies. Put this back in here. Okay. And we also have this gorgeous, oh, Priscilla says she loves this medley. She's been having a blast with it. I really do too. The online class that we did was so much fun. I had another card that I was going to make for you tonight. And then before, well, about a half an hour ago, I thought I better look at the online class and make sure that I'm not duplicating something that might be in there or something really close. Because we like online classes to be an element of surprise. And sure enough, the card that I planned on making you was almost exact to one that we made in the medley, probably why it's in my foggy brain. So I had to scrap that idea and go with something else. This is the cute designer series paper. It's so fun and so colorful. I love it. And then I wanted to show you, I've used up most of them in this pack. We had um, refills available, refills for the consumables in here. But the dies that are in this die set, they cut out these elements on this page. So you can use a die to cut it out if you don't you know, want to stamp it. And when you run out of this, you can still stamp everything with the stamp set. Okay, so I'm going to put these back in here. Hang on, I hate to get everything all kitty wampus here. Okay, Whew. let's see. Where's my card layers? All right, I got my little cheat sheet here that tells me what my sizes are. We're going to get out our layers tonight. 
I'm just so excited that I decided to do this live and not just skip a week because I really do miss you guys. Like, I don't know if you think I'm telling the truth there, but I really do miss you. Hang on, I'm gonna move something. I have to move my cord for a second to get some better lighting down in here. So there we go. Okay, I think everybody's still looking good here. Yeah, I just wanna make sure we've got good lighting down in this area. So this is a Mossy Meadow card base, five and a half by eight and a half. And I am going to score or fold it in half. Oh, I've got a bone folder right here. I have a whole bunch of them in my little caddy right over there. We've got that scored. Then I took a piece of this designer series paper. This is four by five and a quarter and like I said, I didn't make this card yet, so I'm not really sure what we're doing, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna use that as a layer. Then I grabbed some Calypso Coral. Oh, I know, I wanted to try white. We might use this, but I wanted to try white because I wanted to use <gasps> the amazing blending brushes. These things are so cool, you guys. You get three in a pack for $12. They've been on back order forever because they were so popular. But all of these are teeny weeny weeny little bristles and this thing is the softest little brush ever. It is just so, so soft. They're so nice. I've already got a couple here that I've got ink in. Now, um, I'm gonna keep this for my yellows, this for kind of my oranges, reds, but you can certainly wash these out. You would just run them under the water. You can use soap if you want to or not, just whatever, whatever works for you, but you can wash them. All right, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to use my blending brushes on this layer. So I've got my Calypso Coral here, and I am not the biggest expert with blending brushes because they were on back order for so long. I didn't, I haven't even shown them yet, I don't think, because I didn't want to show you guys something that you can't buy because that makes me mad. <laughs> makes me mad if I'm watching somebody and they show me something that I can't get my hands on because I want it. If I want it, I want it now, right? So what you do is tap this in your ink pad and then you're going to want to start on your paper. If you start on, on your scrap paper, if you start on here, it's going to give you blotches. So I'm going to gently come up to my paper just like this and you just blend until you feel like you're kind of running out of ink, okay? And then if you want it to be a little bit darker, again, you start over here and you just add some more color and look how nice and rich that's getting to be. Just swirly, swirly motions. Try this out on some scraps before you go to town with it on the layer you plan on using because it does take a little bit of getting used to the technique. I know I made a lot of blotchy messes before I, um, and sometimes you want blotchy. Sometimes they're gonna look fine, but other times I want this to be very smooth. So this is Bumblebee ink. And again, I started off the paper and then I'm just going to come in here and keep adding color until I feel like I have the right intensity, the intensity that I want. And I think I want that yellow to be just a little bit darker. There we go. That's kind of what I wanted there. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. Now, my thoughts with this, and like I said, I didn't make this card yet, so I have no idea what I'm doing. My thoughts with this was to take this layer and add this layer maybe right down here. That looks kind of cool. I don't want to cover up all that pretty paper. And then I've got a one and a half inch layer of the designer series paper. And I thought, well, that would look pretty cool right over. I don't know. Do I want to leave a margin over here on the side? Maybe. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I think I do. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to do this. Let's do it. Let's not pussyfoot around here. We're gonna get this card rolling. I don't usually stamp on the fly like this because I just don't feel like I'm very good at it, but tonight <laughs> we don't have much choice. <laughs> okay, so then I've got some um, Mossy Meadow and some Pear Pizzazz. Those are perfect colors for your cactuses. And this is the little cactus that I'm going to use. 
and I'm going to die cut a pear pizzazz and a mossy meadow. And I've already got some here that are done already. Very, very cool. That's the mossy meadow. This is the pear pizzazz. So we got we have those taken care of. Oh, I know. I didn't use this one. Oh, darn. Um, maybe we'll use this. Mm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut this out of my white layer. And I think I'll just do it right up here at the top. Okay, just so you guys can see what it's like. Hang tight. I'm just running it through my die cutting machine. little stars in here here's those little here's what it cuts out they're pretty cool looking right you get three of them you could obviously glue those to something but here is what you're left with and it's just a really neat it's kind of like the little stitch marks in the or prickly marks or whatever you want to call them on the cactuses there's probably a name for my southwest people I'm sure you know what it is but I do not <laughs> Okay, so we've got our card opens this way. I've got a sliver of this pretty cardstock or designer paper that's on the front. So I'm just going to add that right down here. I'm gonna leave a little white margin on the bottom because I just like the way that pops. And scissors, here we go. I'm going to trim this off. I think I planned on making this card this way instead of this way, but whatever. It's going to be fine, right? Okay, let's get this glued inside right away. They are called ouch. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. <laughs> yeah, they're called ouch. <laughs> I, it reminds me of, I have a wild rose bush that grows on the side of my house, and it's been here from we've lived here for 20 years and it was here when we moved in and I've tried several times to get it out of there like it's it's like a tree and so we just keep chopping it off because it doesn't really make any roses it's just ugly but man oh man has it given me some pricklies I'll tell you it's not it's not been a fun rose bush okay so here's our layer and I think what I want to do here is bring in some of, oh, here's my twine. I ordered a refill pack, so I have extras for this medley, which if there's any available, I highly recommend because it's just fun. And I think that we'll use the um, Calypso Coral Twine. And I think I'm going to wrap this around a few times. One, two, three. And I made a mess out of this. Don't make a mess out of yours. Don't do what Kelly does because I didn't wind it off right is what happened. And then I have this crazy little mess going on. Okay, that's better. I'm gonna cut it off fairly long so I can tie a bow over here. So I wrapped it around three times. And then I'm just gonna put a little little bow right over here. We'll see how well I can tie a knot. Or a bow. Oh, that's not that great. <laughs> hmm. I miss one Sunday night and suddenly I'm totally out of practice. Sometimes that's what I feel like. If you guys, if you stamp a lot and then you're out of your stamping element for even a day or two, do you come back and you feel like you're just a fuddly mess? Okay, so since this is loose and kind of, I don't know, crappy looking, I'm going to take it on the back and do my little trick where I put some tape on it. So I kind of squeeze it together here to make it tight on the front. And I just see how it goes like that. And now it's all nice and snug. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, next thing what I want to do is I want to grab a scrap of white. This is our basic white cardstock, and I'm gonna take my Mossy Meadow ink, and I am going to stamp with the stamp. Here it is. <laughs> with this heart-shaped cactus. Get this inked up good. 
And then we're gonna stamp this. Oh, pretty! And then we're going to die cut it. And what I like to do is use a little bit of washi tape or temporary tape when you're doing something like this to hold this in place, just like that. We are going to die cut this, and through the magic, I already have it. So we've got that, and then we die cut these two little buggers. Let me put all these things away so I don't lose them, because Lord knows. Oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't even tell you about all my technology problems last week. Well, they didn't stop last week. They continued on to today, and I'm just, I'll tell you what, me and technology, we are, I'm ready to pound sand. <laughs> Not going to say the rest of that, but I'll tell you what, I was pretty, I was hot. Um, I got the new phone, right? And um, that was all great and fine and dandy. And it really was a pleasant experience. I hate getting new phones because it's like worse than getting a new car. So it was a very pleasant experience. I was in and out in about 20 minutes. And you bring your phone home and everything transfers over by itself. Like you tell it go and it does it. And so it was like magic. And so that made me really, really happy. What didn't make me happy was my airdrop didn't work. So I am over here making... Um, videos. Okay, we're going to get the dimensions out. Dimensionals. I'm making videos and I need them to airdrop onto my computer because I have an iPhone and I have a MacBook Air computer. And that's how I do my videos. I make a video on my phone and I go, go drop it in my computer and it does it and life is good. Well, it wouldn't, it wouldn't airdrop. And nobody really knows why. And that really gets frustrating because then I want to start beating people. And um, I don't know how many hours of my life I wasted on technology issues. That wasn't the only issue. I can't even remember what else was going on because it makes me so angry. I just don't want to even go there. But then it continued on today with um, PayPal. So I'm trying to make the labels for you guys, your shipping labels, right, for your kits that you ordered. And what do I want to do here? I think I want to go right here. And, oh, I'm not going to push this one down yet because I think I'm going to tuck these little cactuses in here. Let me get some glue on the back. And um, I'm trying to print out your labels. So, oops, shoot. I can go in and I can select, like, a bunch of you at once, which is nice, right? I don't want to put that one in there. And so I go in and select and it will not let me pay for all of them at once. It only wants to like be happy and let me pay for like three at a time. And then pretty soon it won't pay for any of them. And now I've got people selected. And anyways, it was just a whole thing. So I called PayPal and they're very, very nice. I got this really nice man and he was super helpful. But I was hot. Like, I mean, I was fit to be tied. And I told him, I said, you know, I have wasted more hours on this and this is something that PayPal does to me frequently and I just got fed up with it because I couldn't make it work and said this happens to me all the time and I've had it <laughs> and he was like I know what you're saying and he was just so sympathetic and sweet and I, I don't get um, ornery with anybody unless they deserve it and so I was just you know telling him I was super frustrated and that's you know an hour and a half of my life I can't get back and I don't understand why everything has to be so hard and he was so sweet. He just kept listening and being so nice. Okay, so where do we want to put this? I'm thinking down here in this corner. What do you guys think? I think this is going to look really pretty. <gasps> there we go. Okay, now everybody's quiet because I was being so raggy. <laughs> but yeah, everything doesn't go perfect here either. I know it doesn't for anybody else. But it's like, oh, sometimes it looks like everything is just rainbows and unicorns but I'm telling you it is not okay so here's all of our little felt things and they are so stinking adorable and I think I want to carry through with the um with the uh calypso coral ones so let me see oh there's some bigger flowers too see this one right here and there's a front and a back. Like the back of this is kind of ugly, but the front has just the little dot on it. So I think I'll, yep, I think I'm going to do that one right there. So what I found works really good with this is just glue. You would think mini glue dots would be your friend here, but they're not. They don't stick well to the felt. And I was quite surprised by that, actually. 
I think I'll put that one right over there. Oops. Oh, make sure you <laughs> put the right side down. Put that one right over there. Yay! You gotta give this time to dry because it, the felt is funny. Oh, it's not sticking. Okay, hopefully it will. All right. Now we need a sentiment, right? So I have a little half inch strip of basic white cardstock. And I know I've shown this with, shared you, this with you before, but I thought I'd share it again in case we have any new people who haven't seen it. You know when you cut your insides for your cards down to four by five and a quarter? When you do a whole sheet like that, you get all these little half inch strips. And I like to put them in a bag and keep them to use them for my sentiments like this. So I can just grab them any old time and use those. So I'm gonna put my Mossy Meadow ink away and bring out my Calypso Coral. And I've got the sentiment out here, which makes me giggle. It says life can get kind of prickly. And yes, indeed it can. And I certainly have had enough prickly in my life lately, <laughs> as far as technology goes. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put this right about here. Oh, look how straight I got it. And then I'm gonna bring in this banner pick a punch. Now this does um, an, a shape like that or it does a banner shape. And I think I want the banner shape. I'm gonna turn this upside down and slide it into the channels. This is a really nice punch and I'm glad that we have it. And punch that off, okay? So you get the perfect little banner there. And then, hmm, I think I want to just trim this edge off straight. I could do a banner on the other end, but I think I'm just going to make it straight. And I'm going to just add it right in here. I want to see my thread right here. So I'm going to put it right above my thread by just adding some glue. We've got enough dimensionals under there that we don't need to pop this up on some more dimensionals. <laughs> I love I love this medley, I just love it. Okay, so one other thing, of course I need to decorate my envelope, right? So I've got two and a half by six, and I'm gonna put this right side up on my envelope. If you have patterned paper that, um, as a definite pattern, make sure you're paying attention to it so you don't put it upside down. If you do put it upside down, don't get too cranked about it. It's fine. Nobody's going to, you know, throw a fit. Oh, thank you guys so much. I see some comments coming in. Oh, so cute. Love this set, Karen says. Thank you guys so much. So I'm curious, what's everybody drinking tonight? You guys know what I'm drinking. I'm drinking my strawberry lemonade calorie reducer. And it has, I think, caffeine in it to kind of speed up your metabolism. I really like it. It's what I drink. It's what I'm used to. I used to drink pure Pepsi. Not decaffeinated, not diet Pepsi, but pure sugarized Pepsi. That made my life happy. This isn't too bad. <laughs> I do like it. But I, I haven't had Pepsi since I went on my diet last year and lost 50 pounds, so yay me. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna make sure my little flowers are gonna stand there. What do you guys think? Is that not just stinking adorable? This is so, so cute. Okay, don't forget. Oh, hang on, I got stuff sticking here. Eh. I just disappeared for a second. I'll be right back. Don't forget that I have a class with all the pre-cut cardstock with this medley. So you need the medley. If you order option number one, you get the pre-cut cardstock pack pretty much for free and the online class. So it is the best deal. But you have to sign up for the class on my website, okay? You don't just order the medley because there's some other things that need to go in with the order for you to get um, option number one. And there are nine cards included in here. I have a few of those left, so I just wanted to let everybody know about that. All right, let me put this away because I have another treat for you tonight. Hang on just a second while I get all my stuff 
back in my and the stamps. I put those right over here. I didn't clean them yet, so I want to be careful. All right. I had help. Like one of my helpers, she's on my team, Kathy Miller, has been coming over and helping me. And thank goodness because sometimes I feel like it takes a village. <laughs> and she's been cleaning out all my retired stuff and bringing in or getting, making room for all the new products that are coming in the new catalog. And I do have a pre order I'd like to share with you guys too, but not tonight, but at some point before. Um, the catalog goes live next week, Tuesday. So, okay. So as she was cleaning out all my stuff, I have this all-inclusive kit from that I ordered. Um, this is in the JJ Mini catalog. Let me show you. All of these, well, here's the flowering cactus, you guys. Oh my goodness. Look at all that beauty. It's so pretty, right? And then we also have the Hello Dear Friend kit. This is an all-inclusive kit. This makes a fantastic gift because not only does it come with the stamp set and the ink spot, it comes with everything except glue and scissors. You even get a little block in here. So let me show you. This is this block is included in the kit so you can mount the stamps that are on in this in this kit. You get little mini glue dots, all of these little envelopes. Let's see, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, six little envelopes. You get dimensionals and some copper looking um, um, cording. We've got these little cards. These are all scored. Look how cute they are. You get six of those. You get one, two, three, four, five, six printed envelopes. We have these die cut flowers that we're just gonna pop out of here and you get three pages of them. Here's some more card bases. So you get one, two, three of these. Look at how pretty those are, right? Here comes some die cut and embossed vellum. Whoa, very, very cool. Yeah, these just pop right out of here. These are for the layers on the cards. Then you get these cards. These are scored, ready to go. Some more die cuts, some label die cuts, two sheets of them, and these are also um, copper embossed. And I think this is copper, let me make sure. So I'm not saying the wrong thing. No, 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 no. I don't know. It doesn't tell me. It doesn't matter. They're beautiful. And then here's the ink spot. Okay. And um, since I have Misty Moonlight, I'm just going to use my big ink pad. But just know that this comes in here. This is all bundled up. Oh, and it comes in this cute little box. Look at this. This is like a whole gift box all by itself. Right? So that's fun. Like I said, it makes a great gift, but it's also fabulous. Do you ever just want to sit down and make some cards and not have to think really hard? Like sometimes you might have a creative block and putting one of these kits together is the perfect thing to do. So all the instructions are in here. We have pictures that show you exactly what to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a few of these cards together and let me grab, I'm going to grab a new piercing mat so that one's not all icky. And we have just a little note. Hello, dear friend. You make my heart smile. I love that saying. A day to remember and thank you. So I am going to do, how about a day to remember here? We'll use this one first. We're going to just mount this on our block. And I'm going to get the elements that I need. Now, I'm going to take this to see which one do I need to use here. I don't know. What does it say? Na, 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 na. I think I might use this one right here. Or maybe this one. No, I don't think we want that great big one. We want this one right here. So I'm going to stamp that. 
And if I had this kit and I wanted to make all of these cards, I would do all of the stamping at once. Okay. I'm going to stamp this right in here. Yay! And then we're going to pop that right out. Boom. Easy peasy. Now I'm going to grab one of my yellow card bases and bone folder. Whoops, I almost dumped my drink over. That would be not cool at all. And one of the diamond things. So I'm just looking at the directions here. and It just shows me exactly what I need to do. One, two, three, four. Super simple. We're going to grab one of these diamond dealer whoppers. At least that's what I'm calling it, is a diamond. And I think think I would use mini glue dots to attach this but I believe they I nope I think they use dimensionals so hang tight I'm gonna get out some of these little dimensionals and I'm going to put them behind where my images are gonna go okay so I just got two of them right there so I'm gonna put this over top so we're gonna get this on here and we're gonna put this right about here. Then I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of my sentiment. I'm gonna keep those fairly um, away from the edges because I want them to land on my little diamond thing here. Oh, this does look like it's a little bigger than it should have been. Whatever, it still looks good. And then, I'm going to grab my die cut flowers and I'm going to put my flowers on dimensionals. And here we go. Oh, I forgot to put my toy in there. Hang on. I'm going to add a little bit of this because it does look pretty cool. Let's see if I can find the end. There we go. And I think I'm just gonna tie kind of a bigger bow. Look, I got ink all over my fingers. Looks like mossy meadow, what do you think? <laughs> okay, here's a fairly good sized bow. Do this, and then I wanted to show you how to use these because these are a little different, right? I pick off the entire mini glue dot like that. And then I'm just going to kind of set it right up here. I'm gonna push it down a little bit and now I'm gonna pick off that backing. And that's how you use these mini glue dots that come with all of these. Yay! Look at how easy that was, right? Now, where's our envelope? Here comes one of our pretty little printed envelopes. Oops, hang on. I just pushed that off of there when I scrubbed my hand over it. Look at that. Isn't that cool? These are so, so easy and fun. Let's see. We have one more. I'll do one more here. Then I have another kit that I'll show you that's really cool. Okay, we're going to take this off of here. And I'm going to do the... Hello, dear friend. I really like this one. And that one, I know we're going to use that big, this big square right here. Oops. Make sure I get that all inked up. Yay! And let's see, I'm gonna grab this purple right here. This is a little card. Now sometimes I give a gift and then I don't need a giant card with it, right? You can use little cards and these are just kind of novel and sweet, I love them. Oh, and then we're gonna grab one of the yellow, one of these little yellow flowers here. Okay, so. I'm gonna take 
Now you could use your mini glue dots to do this, right? But I've got some tape right here and that's just gonna be quicker for me. I'm gonna put these leaves on the back. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? Now you wanna make sure they're on the card, right? That they're not, yeah. I need to tuck this one in just a little bit. So let's do that. There we go. And then I think I'm gonna have to use, oh no, this will be fine. Use a little bit more tape. And I don't want these to go over the edge because it needs to fit in an envelope, in the envelope that it came with. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we've got that going on. Then I'm gonna use some dimensionals on the back of this layer. Two, three. Okay, this is gonna go. Oh my gosh, this is just so delicate and pretty, don't you think? Look at how pretty that is. And then we're gonna do dimensionals on this one. And I think I'm just gonna put I think I'm going to slide this under here just a touch. There we go. And that's going to make my flower stick. Yep. Ah. And then let me find... Oops, I got things falling. I'm looking for my little envelopes. Oh, here they are. These are the little envelopes. Look at how cute that is. Slides right in here. And you have a sweet little card to go with a pretty little gift. This would go nicely for like um, somebody at work. You get them a little box of candy or something. I love these. So this is, again, here's the other two cards. And this is the Hello Dear Friend kit from the mini catalog. Now. I also wanted to show you this kit. And I made this kit up for you guys a while back. So just in case you missed it, um, this kit is also in the JJ Mini catalog and it's right here. This is the You Are Amazing. These are still available, okay? And this kit is not exactly all inclusive because you need the stamp set and some ink colors with mini glue dots, dimensionals, and adhesive. So this may be for somebody who crafts a little bit but doesn't have a lot of supplies. And I'll show you these. It comes in this adorable little box, so it's perfect for gift giving. It has the same, you know, it's got instructions just like the other kit. And these cards I actually made all up when I showed you these, or showed this on a Facebook Live last time, but look at how cute these are. I've got those. And then four of these. It comes with the twine, all the layers in here. They're so bright and cheerful. I love this kit too. Here's some more. This is really cute. And last but not least, we have this one. And again, with all these cards, envelopes that have the insides. I'm, I'm looking to see if they're all, I think they're all the same color. Oh, nope, they're not. Look at that, how pretty. This is just fun and colorful and who wouldn't want a kit like this? Looking to see if we have, nope, they're all this color or this color on the inside to go with all these fancy cards with again, the foil is like the accent here. So, woohoo, card kits can be a lot of fun. And even if you're a seasoned stamper, sometimes it's nice to just sit down and not have to think so hard. And I think too that I've gone to my kits and made kits when I'm kind of like, ugh, I just don't know what to make. I wanna stamp today, but I am having like a creative block. If you go put these kits together, it kind of helps get you out of that slump too. Or great gift idea, or both. I love these. So there we have it. Here's the one card that I made out of this kit and the other card, which is super duper cute. 
here is our life can get kind of prickly as it has been for me this week or last week today and last week the weekend was fabulous but today was like oh my lord I just want to get my stuff done I felt like I was spinning my wheels anywho I have some really really fun oh Kathy says that card kit was on back order for a while and she just got hers yay I didn't even realize that um, let me put this away. I have some fabulous mail to show you guys. I always love sharing my mail with you. I appreciate all the things that everybody sends to me. So let me just get some of these things put away so that I don't have too big of a mess here. I don't want to lose any of my kit elements. Molly loves making these kits. When Molly, who if you're new to me, Molly is my granddaughter. When she comes over... Um, she loves to come up here and I always give her my kits because especially for her um, She is creative, but she needs a little um, I don't want to say exactly help but a little motivation and She might take this and do something totally different with it But she loves all the elements in the kits to play with so that's fun Okay, let me oh, I gotta clean this. Where'd my cleaner go right here? All right, here we go. Now, I do plan on being live again next Sunday. We'll be back on schedule. Let me set these right here. Doo, doo, doo. All right, oops, I gotta put that in there too. Mail, mail, let me show you. I have some beautiful stuff to share with you. Okay, so in the mail today, I got this cute little card. These are our note cards and envelopes. And this is from Rhonda. I train with her for business training. And I just thought this was the cutest little thing. Very simple, but yet very pretty. So I got that and it came with this bracelet. And we just finished up a training series and she always sends a little gift, but isn't that pretty? Like this is so it's got these little spotlights when it hits the light. Absolutely beautiful. But yeah, this was her thank you for me participating in her training group. And I just, it's just so sweet. This is so sweet together, right? Love this. Next up, this is for Valerie. And I did open it. <laughs> and I'll give it to Val because I just opened my mail today. Um, this is super, super cute with that ice cream corner set. Isn't that pretty? I love the little rainbow of colors here. And this is from Suzanne Scott. And she says, a first birthday is special. It's the only time when you can eat your first, your birthday cake with your hands, face, or feet. <laughs> Did you guys see how apprehensive Val was to dig into that little cake yesterday? It was so funny. Oh, and she decorated the envelope flap, used a little colored washi tape, super cute. Now I'm gonna put this back in here so I can give this to Valerie. Um, but yeah, she did not dive into that cake. She seemed very apprehensive. And then look at this, look at this envelope. It's embossed and got some pretty washi tape. And look how pretty this is. Heartfelt thanks for everything. You make my heart happy. Kelly, thank you so much for the stamp set one on the spring virtual retreat, as well as the bow maker for March purchases. Thanks for all you do, Suzanne Scott. Suzanne, this is so pretty, and thank you so much. And then, uh-oh, I think I'm gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Nope, I'm not. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be in trouble, but not yet. It's possible I may still be in trouble. This came from this is for Val also. Look at this, you guys. This is, hang on. This is a little sneak peek at some new stamp sets coming out. Isn't that cute? And some tie-dye background stamps. Woo -woo. This is from Cindy Benward, and this was also for Val. Happy first birthday. How cute is that? Love it. And she stamped up her envelope with some little candles. Now I have to make sure I give this one to Val too. I will see Val tomorrow or Wednesday. I have her every Wednesday afternoon. This comes from Carol Smet. She's from Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin. And look at how pretty that is. And the little things you do so well and so often make a big difference to so many people. Thank you so much, Carol. This is just such a pretty card. 
Carol says, thank you for the bow maker. The color is perfect. It was so nice to see a pretty package in the mail instead of the usual junk mail and bills. <laughs> Isn't that the truth, you guys? It is not all stamping up, but we have we have to use what we have. Oh, please don't ever apologize for that. I love a hand stamped card. Beautiful. I just love that. Thank you so much, Carol. Okay, hang on. I got some more mail here. I got a lot of mail, you guys. Like quite a bit here. Here we go. This one. Holy cannoli. How pretty is that? The stamp set's retiring too, and it makes me very sad. But this is from my mama. And she got this card from me. <laughs> she goes, you shouldn't have, but I'm glad you did. I so enjoyed my time with you. Sure made my day special. This was a thank you for her birthday. Thanks, Mom. Mom is really good about sending cards. She sends out a lot of cards. This one is also from Cindy Benward. And look at how she used that ombre paper from Celebration. This is just so pretty. What a fabulous idea. Now, this is a brand new stamp set, you guys, coming out in the new annual catalog. So that's cool. And it says, I forgot to put in my mail. Oh, she forgot to put her mailing label in with her swap. So she was sending me the mailing label. But how fun is that, right? She also did the flap on the envelope. Cindy, beautiful. Next, we have a card from Sherry Adams. And this is her card. Congratulations on reaching a whole new level of wonderful. Thanks so much for the Darling Ice Cream Cone card with the amazing bubble wrap technique. Sherry is part of my online technique club. She says, I can't wait to try that one. And thanks for mailing me the new catalog. Just got it today. Thanks for sharing your creativity with me and all who follow you. Happy spring. Isn't that sweet? This is very pretty. This is just a classic little layout, but it's stunning because of the paper and the colors that she chose. I love the ribbon right here. Very, very pretty. Thank you so much, Sherry. I was looking also, I just got a card from um, Shelly Gardner, who is the owner of Stampin' Up, but I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> it's not here anymore. Okay, this is from Noreen Bandiff. And look at how pretty this is. It's a little fun fold. Way to go, Noreen. She says, thank you for my bow maker. And you are very welcome. Now, some of you might not know what we're talking about. So if you're part of my team, I ran an incentive in the month of March. And if they met the incentive, they got a free bow maker. And then for my customers, between March 1st and the 15th, if they put in a certain qualifying order, they also got a free bow maker. So that's what everybody's talking about. Look at this. This is a little pocket card. This is from Susan Tyler. Very, very cool. And Susan says, my stamp set punch party is adorable. Thank you for, um, thank you. And thank you for all you do to teach us and make us laugh. I, ha I hope you and Steve have a wonderful time on the cruise. Oh, thank you so much, Sue. We're excited about going to Maui. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about all the weird things that we have to do to get there because it just is what it is. It'll be fine, right? It'll just be fine. <laughs> Hi, Cindy DeWitt. I see you just pop in here. Now, this card is from Sarah. Look at this. <gasps> How cute is that? She used this ombre too, the ombre paper with the snail mail. And she says, thank you for all you do. Your creativity is amazing. I enjoy your Facebook lives. I enjoy being a new customer. Sarah, you are the sweetest. Now, Sarah sent me a whole bunch of really cute stuff. And look at her envelope. Is that not cool? Look at that. Okay. Um, hang on just a second. I'm going to grab this stuff that she sent. Uh, oh, I think this was in here. Okay, so first of all, I have to show you this. This is the butterfly lights up. So let's see, how does the butterfly light up? Does it tell me in instructions? Press the button on the top to activate the light. Oh, I see it, look at that. Oh, look at that, it does light up. Ah. Let me see if I can turn some lights off. Hang on. Let me get some lights off, here we go. Oh, look at that, holy cow. 
this is crazy. So I thought this was pretty neat because it's a, um, you know, um, the hand stuff. Sanitizer. There we go. It's a hand sanitizer and it is Mango Mai Tai. And wait for it. Waikiki Beach Coconut. Yeah, for Hawaii, right? And this is like a little, has a little keychain thing on it. This is the cutest thing ever, Sarah. Absolutely adorable. So, also, look at this. She sent me this. This is absolutely beautiful. And it opens right up like this. <gasps> and look at, she used the True Love Designer Series paper to make these beautiful cards. Oh, inside, she's got a little bit of love going on on the inside. Oops, hang on. Here we go. Look at how pretty that is. Wowza. This paper is so cool. I absolutely love it. Again, this is called the True Love Designer Series Paper. Everybody loves black and white paper. And if you don't, you should. Here we go. You should love black and white paper because look at the pretty things. This was just black and white and you can do all that with it. And then look at this. You can do all that. And this is the flowers from the black and white paper colored and cut out and put on here. Oh my gosh. So, so pretty, right? Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So she sent me this set, which I love. In this cute box. I should say pretty box. It's not cute. It's pretty. Again, with the with the True Love Designer Series paper on here. This all ties up nicely, super fun. And then <laughs> she sent me this. Look at this little picnic basket. It reminds me of, um, she said, it reminds me of the Yogi Bear picnic basket, right? And then we've got the Lindor truffles in here. Oh, I'm not supposed to have these. Well, I'll save them so I can eat them a little later. When I first got it, I opened up one of these, which is vanilla on the outside and on the inside. And can I just say, it was delightful. So don't worry, I will eat these. And I think there's, yep, there's magnets in here that help that close. But how cute is that? It's basically two boxes glued together and then a little handle. Super, super cute. Okay, hang tight. I've got more. Okay, so, oh, I've got some more under there too. You guys aren't looking to leave. Oh, look it. I've got these too. This is same. This is the True Love Designer Series paper also. So I made all these cards last week for a blog hub. Look at that. Yeah, the chevron technique, same paper. It's just the other side from the flowers, you guys. <gasps> Gotta have some black and white. Gotta. All right, here comes some more cards. Oh, here's the card from Shelly. So this is from Shelly. At Stampin' Up, she owns the company, and she makes cards also, and she sent me this card, and it says, congratulations, dear Kelly, congratulations on accomplishing your $1.1 million milestone. Thank you for your consistency and hard work for so long. Warmest wishes to you for ongoing success, Shelly. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I am um, honored to get a card from her. She's a wonderful, wonderful lady. Okay. Now, this one is from Terry Hui. I hope I say your name right, Terry. Look at how pretty this is. You are the happy to my day. Look at how neat her handwriting is. It says, hi, Kelly. Thanks for all the wonderful cards and laughter. You can tell from this DSP that I hoard paper, but I don't need to hoard stamps. Maybe when you give them away, you can just say they are, oh, I'm not supposed to tell anybody, but she gave me a bunch of stamps to give away. I'm not supposed to tell you that, but cat's out of the bag now, Terry. Anyways, um, I put them in with my door prize stuff, so I'm not going to show everybody how many stamps you gave me. I don't want you to feel perhaps embarrassed about your hoarding problem. <laughs> I'm just teasing. She gave me some stamp sets to be able to give away as door prizes, Terry. They are much appreciated. Thank you so much. And I will find a wonderful home for them. Beautiful card. All right, then, oh, I think I already showed you this one. Oh, did I show you this one? Hang on. Oh yeah, I did. And I said, we're gonna make it. I already showed you this one and we're gonna make some of these. 
So I'm gonna keep that in my pile out here, okay? So we can make that. I don't wanna hide that. And that came from Mary Stroman. All right, this is from Wendy Morse. And Wendy sent me some extras. She had some extra Gilded Gems. She had some extra basic white note cards and envelopes, a little black ink spot, a wink of Stella, and guess what? True Love Designer Series paper. So I'll be giving these things away as door prizes maybe next week. Thank you so much, Wendy. You're so sweet. Last but not least, Lisa D'Alessandro, you little stinker. She is uh, one of my team members and she got one of the catalogs spiral bound for me. And I can't even tell you how much I appreciate that. It came with her swap. On my team, we do swaps every month. We have a theme. This month, it's just something from the pre-order in the new catalog. And um, we do a swap every month. It's completely optional. And I think this month we, I don't know, we made 20 maybe. And so I design a card, I make 20 of them, and I give them to Kathy Miller, who is one of my helpers. She sorts them all out as all the swap cards come in the mail. She sorts them all out, and I get 15 to 20 different cards back. So that's one of the great benefits of being part of my team. Now, whether you want to build a business or you want to be a happy discount shopper, we do not discriminate. I highly encourage you, if you are a stamper and you're not getting a discount on your Stampin' Up! products, you need to join my team and get a discount because there's a whole bunch of fun involved in being on my team. People love it. We have so much interaction. You get to be part of something bigger and you make new friends with people who love the same things that you love. So it's really, really fun. If you have any questions about that, please don't ever hesitate to contact me. My email address is Kelly. So take that off and put Kelly at astampabove.com. Email me. I'd be happy to answer your questions. I appreciate your orders. This is my current host code. So if your order is under $150, please use this code. If it's over $150, don't use the code because Stampin' Up! is going to give you some rewards and I definitely want you to have those. Woo! This was so much fun, you guys. Thank you for sticking with me till the end. I hope you enjoyed my cards and all these beautiful creations that I'm sharing with you tonight. This is just the coolest little thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and by the way, oh, I gotta press the button. Wrong button, there we go. Um, my bathroom is done. I've been using it. I got a squeegee for the shower walls. Fred needs to come back because every time I run the sink water, there's a little puddle underneath where the piping is. So he's going to come back and tighten that or do whatever he needs to do. But once I get it decorated, you guys, I'm going to show it to you in all its glory because I love it. I'm so, I'm so happy with it. Okay. I want you guys to have a fantastic week. I do have a blog hop on Friday. It is my t Totally Techniques blog hop. And it is demonstrators from all over the world are a part of this design team. Make sure you check back with that. And um, I will be live again on Sunday, May 2nd. Can you believe it's May 2nd next week? Or actually, yeah, next week. Um, so I'll be, I'll be live again at 7 p.m. I will be on Thursday night at 7 p.m. I almost forgot for bingo. So 7 p.m. Central Time. Tune in for bingo. I will share the YouTube live link on this Facebook group, but it's not going to pop up in your notifications like it does when I do a Facebook live because Facebook likes their own lives. So they spread it out and throw it out all over that Kelly's live right now. When I post a link to YouTube, Facebook doesn't get that excited about it. They don't understand. <laughs> So you're going to have to watch for that at 7, is it, oh, I was going to make sure I'm on at 7 p.m. I'm pretty sure it's 7 p.m. Let me look, let me look. I got bingo right here on my screen. Hang tight. Bingo, bingo. Here it is. 7 p.m. I was right. So bingo at 7 p.m., but it's just going to be a post with a link to YouTube Live. You can also, um, yeah, you're going to have to go over to YouTube to watch it. Um, so just click on the link. Go to YouTube. Now, if you don't have a YouTube account, just like you have a Facebook account, you have the opportunity to have a YouTube account. They won't let you comment unless you are signed in. So make sure you set up your YouTube account if you don't have one. 
so that you can comment and participate with us because I love that. And I hope you can join me for bingo. Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Central Time, YouTube Live. Link is posted right here on Facebook. Be there or, 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 hang on, be square. Yeah, don't be square, okay? Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.